Good evening, Seawolves. I'm Kevin Del Campo. And I'm Gina Fazio with your Sonoma State update. This week, we have reporters on campus covering Alpha Z Delta's fall philanthropy Z Man. So let's go check out what's going on out there. Hi, Seawolves. Did you guys get a chance to catch Z Man a couple weeks ago? Well, if not, don't worry. We got you guys covered. Here's a look at one of Greek Life's most beloved events. Hi, I'm Natalie, and I'm Alpha Z Delta's philanthropy vice president, and I was also in charge of overlooking Z Man. Hi, I'm Caitlin Bradley. I was one of the co-coordinators of Z-Man, also with my friend Megan Chambers. So Z-Man is a male beauty pageant, um, and it gives men from various campus organizations a chance to showcase their talents, um, and they get to compete and see if they are fit for the title of Z-Man. And we do this all to fundraise for our Philanthropy Autism Speaks. There is a good amount of planning in it. Um, a lot of it's trying to find an event or the place to have your event um, and then lighting and then sound, things like that. And then just making sure that your contestants feel prepared and that they understand like what's expected of them and that we do like host a rehearsal and practices. Um, so there were nine contestants this time and um, we had three judges and they each get a score sheet and it was um, three rounds. It was personality, no. There was a personality, and then there was a <laughs> so dress up, dress up, and then talent. Yeah. Um, and then they were scored one through five out of each of those, and then um, the judges added that up. So the perks of being Z-Man is first bragging rights, <laughs> um, and then they also get to go to um, our formal and um, just other yeah. social events. Yeah. This year was um, Derek, and he was um, from soccer, but mm -hmm. he also is in final as well, but he was representing soccer. I think what won it for him was definitely his talent. It was super for original. Sure. Um, he did like a, 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 what did he do? a, a magic, magic show, show. Mm -hmm. um, but it was like, he wasn't good at magic. That was like the joke. It was like, he just like did like all these tricks that like, but yeah. I think it definitely set him apart because a lot of people did singing and dancing and stuff, yeah. but he brought something neat, unique that I think like also helped and like, he did have really good fundraising scores, so that was also that a big too, yeah. part as well. Yeah. Yeah. So congrats on Alpha Z Delta for putting on an amazing event. It seemed like everyone had a really great time. And they also raised a ton of money for Autism Speaks. So back to you, Studio Blue. Well, it looks like Z-Man was a great success, so kudos to them over at Alpha Z Delta. Gotta love seeing student involvement on campus, which brings us to our next segment on KSUN Radio, which is a radio station here on campus run by students. Let's go check that out. Thanks, you guys. This week, we have an exclusive look inside of one of Sonoma State's most popular media outlets, KSUN Radio. Let's go take a look. KSUN is a Sonoma State student-run radio station. It is located in the basement of Ives Hall and is ran by instructor Nate Campbell. KSUN has been a part of SSU since the 1970s. Today, we will be catching up with some of the voices of the station. Hi, my name is Kennedy and I am a senior at Sonoma State and this semester I am enrolled in KSUN Media Lab. Um, KSUN, or what I do in KSUN is I host my own show with my co-host every Wednesday from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock and our show is called Netflix and Talk. Um, two hours every Wednesday. I have been involved in KSUN ever since I started at Sonoma State, which was about a year ago. Um, my first experience with KSUN was through Sports Talk Radio. It was a new class on campus, and basically we just had our own sports talk show once a week for about an hour. Um, the next semester I was involved in podcasting, which takes place mostly in the production room in KSUN, and here we, I learned multi-tracking, I learned how to use GarageBand, and then eventually in the end created our own podcast. And then this semester, I'm involved in KSUN's main purpose, which is the radio show, which is completely ran by students on campus. And it is um, every student that is in the class basically has their own show every week. Students enrolled in KSUN produce live online radio shows on a weekly basis. This semester, there are 14 unique shows produced by students, with each show lasting about two hours, meaning there's almost 30 hours of content produced each week. One major thing that I really like about KSUN is when you are applying eventually, you have real pieces that you can use and give um, these companies with your application and your resume. You have recorded bits of your show and your talent to directly show them, which I think is a really cool way that KSUN can impact real life. KSUN is a four unit media outlet course offered for comms majors at Sonoma State. Be sure to tune in and support your fellow Seawolves. I'm Zoe, back to you in the studio. 
Well, there you have it, Sea Wolves. Be sure to tune in to KSUN at SonomaStateRadio.com. Well, that wraps up this week's news. Have a good week. I'm Gina. I'm Kevin. See you next time.